morning guys, so today is Saturday. We're out here in Montreal, Canada for the Kombucha Festival this year. So we just left our hostel over at Le Bed and Cocktail and we're gonna go out and get some pastries and take you along with us. This um, it used to be the um, figure twist. eight twist with lemon. I believe this is the one with lemon. Uh, it's amazing. It's like churro like, and it has a cream filling ish. It's not creamy, but like it's really really soft oh, on the inside. Look creamy. at that. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> my god. Alright, let me get some of that. No. No. Let me get some. All right, here. All right. Just hold on. Thoughts? Damn, that was bomb. What are your thoughts? It was so good. Yeah. It's like Telemark. just enough like cream. I can't even talk right now. I'm just like I need to lick it all yeah. in my mouth. Oh, there you go. Alright, bro. Alright. Oh. <laughs> that was just the first one. I think this one. I think this one's the lemon one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, this one next. We'll do this one next. I don't know, I don't know. I think we should save that one because we had something similar. I think we should go with like something else to kind of cleanse the palate because that was a strong Pistachio tart. Uh, tart. 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 The Let's pistachio tart. with the cherry tart. Cherry tart, yeah. Let's do it. Look how beautiful this looks. This looks so good. You got the. <laughs> what she <laughs> said? Cherry? Oh, the donut's butthole. There Looks you know. really good. I'll yeah. probably start eating that out first. Wow. <laughs> Mark, Edit. what is your channel? Is it for like, <laughs> we're, we're what's your age group for this one? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kombucha, so like definitely gonna be... <laughs> well, definitely well, kombucha's for everyone. I don't know. Ageist. Uh, just change your parental controls and make sure that you're... <laughs> this, this video is now 17 and up. <laughs> on the end YouTube. <laughs> We've now gone... <laughs> Yes. Mm. We're gonna do some donut ASMR right now. So we don't have ASMR. But so let's go. Smack your lips when you eat it. <laughs> Dude, that was good. That was good. That was good. Right, that was good. Um, I didn't get the I didn't get the cherry part yet, but I saved it for you. Hi everyone, so what we have here is a guacamole donut. Or it's a guacanut. Um, initial findings. It's not guacamole, it's um, pistachio. You were mistaken. Um, oh yeah, but we're, we're gonna go in now. Get to that cherry, that cherry tartiness in the middle. Interesting. Wow, that's very interesting. So the pistachio has yeah. a very like flat flavor, and the uh -huh. tartiness really like brightens up the whole palate. Yeah. yeah. It really comes at you. Yeah. And like overpowers the beard. Is that my beard? Do I have some of my beard? Is that what you're telling me, Mark? You my, might. Am I dirty? No. Okay. Right, hold on. <laughs> hold on. One hour later. After having donuts, we met up with Austin from Fermenters Club at the Marsh John Talon Market to help him pick out some veggies for his uh, pickling workshop at Boochfest. This market is just amazing. They have fresh fruits, deli meats, veggies, etc. Definitely a go-to place when you're in Montreal during the summertime. Everything looks delicious. You can smell everything. Everything's so fresh and organic. 
amazing experience. Loved it. Come out to this market next time you guys are in Montreal during the summertime. Hey guys, so what's up? We're here now at Kombucha Fest in Montreal, Canada. I'm here with Axel, John De La Cruz, and also um, Bennett from Butcha Box. Awesome. The podcast. So we're gonna go and walk around the venue, kind of take you guys with us and show you everything around here. It's pretty awesome. We super thirsty right now, so let's go ahead and uh, get some of these uh, kombuchas. Oh, you meant thirsty like oh, as shit. in drink. I thought, okay. Thirsty <laughs> like both. Oh, whoa. We need to get a cup for tasting. So, we got a lot of uh, kombucha, kombucheries over here. We got Y kombucha. I don't know, I can't read there. Lao, we got Quetzal, Fix It. Wait, is that? <laughs> fix It kombucha? Quick fix, bruh. The quick fix, okay. It's really dark right now. The lighting on oh. this side. But yeah, let's see. What else we got here? We got kombuchisima. We got kombu. We got club kombucha. Sencha. We got a whole bunch of booths out here. We got V kombucha. That looks awesome. So yeah, we're probably gonna stop by each, get some drinks. There's more. And there's more down there. Okay. So we go down. What's out here? Mana Nova. Oh, okay. Oh shit, this is what I need, Axel. I need yeah. this thing, man. Yeah. You down? So we're gonna we're gonna brew it in your basement. Yes, your apartment basement. The garage. We'll kick we'll kick Flo's uh, car outside, and we'll put we'll put our uh, little micro, a nano brewery in there, you know, low key. So Axel, since you're yeah. not really affiliated with anybody, I think today we gotta find your favorite, your top five. Oh, my top five is um, rooted kombucha. Oh damn! Then okay. Axel's Brewing Thank Garage, you. and yeah, those are only two. Only special two? yeah, special shout out to um, GTS and Brew Doctor. Oh, okay. But yeah, no, those are my top two. Only I only have two. Well, I, well, Every, thank you. Everything else is... Um, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. How can you uh, get some of that rooted kombucha? Um, you have to uh, follow their Instagram. Which is? Uh, rooted.kombucha. And you can also follow their parent Instagram, which is the dot rooted progress. The dot rooted dot progress. Okay. Follow them. They have Subaru stuff kombucha stuff and just general lifestyle kind of things so yeah they're pretty good but check uh, out check out rooted kombucha for sure i'll, I'll yeah. post those igs like right here yeah, yeah. like right, right here? here right here no right here right here no. I, where, where am i right here it's right here my hands in my hands right here this is a uh, silver swallow uh -huh. kombucha it's we're calling it like a the champagne of kombucha it's made with um let me show you my tea. It's made with this tea, which is called Silver Needles, which is a bud tea. So uh, in the mountains in, in Yunnan, China, they have uh, like a short season that they pick the tea while it's still in bud form. So all those layers are kind of in there. If you think of a tea leaf, this is the bud. So if you think of uh, how it would bloom, all the layers are kind of still in there. Um, and it's white tea, so it's, it's picked young. It's still really, Really yeah, kind of grassy and flavorful. Yeah, of course. On what? Yeah. So it's, it's super nice tea. It's it's a silver needle tea, and um, we've brewed it. We've brewed with it, and we've also infused with it. So it's uh, it really comes through, really like tea forward, a bit grassy, a bit clovery, and uh, yeah, it's really nice, nice clean flavor. So we've we've done it up, uh, obviously like a champagne bottle. So you know, helping people who don't want to drink or, or in situations they don't want to drink alcohol you know a baby shower or, um, I see I see uh, you know a, a non-alcoholic option al alcoholic option for a wedding or that kind of thing you know people that are, have options so you guys have a taste please dude this sounds awesome cheers cheers 
So we only like finished like half of the booches at the booch commercial booch tent and we got really hungry so we got some uh, vegan vegan hot dog and vegan, vegan burger, burger. Yeah. it's a, yeah. a seitan patty and I think a seitan is that how you say it seitan 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 and uh, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna continue on and we're gonna figure out which one is Axel's favorite booch Booch. <laughs> so we're out of the kombucha festival. Uh, day one has passed. Yeah, yeah. Day two will be tomorrow. But since we're since there's still a lot of time left in the day, decided to go out and continue to explore more of Montreal. So we've come to this uh, park, centralized park, where it has some really good views. Um, we'll show you the top. See how it looks. I think that's where they filmed uh, Jurassic Park in Montreal. Doggos. Alright, this wasn't so much of a trail trail because now it's concrete again or like... It's trail S. It's trail S though because there's less pe there's more people there. And more people, people over there and less people here. So, so trail S. Well, trail S. Oh, I love these trees though. It's a nice park. We're going all the way up. So. It's not that difficult. I like it all. One of the guys said that it was like about five minutes to walk to the viewpoint. Hopefully it is like that. I think I think it has been five minutes already and we're still trying to walk up to the top. To the right? I don't know. Why don't we just read the sign over there? Let's see. Oh, yeah. It says, uh, Cafe Suspendu. So that first viewpoint is actually right there. Okay. Oh, there it is. Ah, might as well just look at it. And then, uh, the Mount Royale is actually like the other way. Oh, there's little trails down there. Yeah, dude. Trail Esk is like, Trail S. Real here. Yeah, yeah. Real trails in your park. Yeah. This like reminds me of that one. Uh, they have a park over by U like uh, UCSF. Uh huh. And then they have trails like this. Oh, nice. Kind of like inside it. Yeah. Forgot nice. what that the name of that park was. But it's really nice like this as well. Yeah, less, I like it. There's a lot of foot less people. I like the foot traffic. There's a lot of people. It seems lively. All right, we're approaching a viewpoint, Chalet du Mont Royal. Don't know if I said that right. Probably not. Probably not. It's okay. Because I know it, no other language but English, so English is in every language I speak. It's the only language you speak. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So when I do read like other languages, you, you read it. it I still read English. it in an English accent. Yeah. Well, I mean, duh. <laughs> it's so bad. And that's the only way you know how to do. So. Yeah. Oh, this looks amazing. There's a, oh, wow. This looks amazing. This is a perfect time and day right now. Like, it's actually, you can see all the way to the other side. Yeah. Wow. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. Ding. You guys can't see it right now yet. But a few more steps closer. And then. Hopefully you guys can see what you see, but maybe not because there's all these people. Yay! We out here. Montreal. Let's go right here. So we're done checking out the view. That yeah, was yeah. beautiful. 
Really lovely city. Beautiful. Love it here. And Gorgeous. Uh, yeah, that was kind of fun. Just yeah, yeah. filming Axel, even though he doesn't like me filming him as much. And let me know. Nah, not <laughs> fan. Let me know what you guys thought about that footage. Let's see. <laughs> All right, guys, so that concludes our day one of Booch Fest Montreal. Uh, stay tuned for day two, and please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Welcome to Axos ASMR on Mark's camera. I'm talking directly into the mic. ASMR effect ever um we're gonna cross the street as we cross the street I'm gonna make a, a popping sound with my mouth guys so shout out to axel's new channel he's finally decided on asmr videos so if you like to hear sounds off axel's own personal body in asmr uh check out his uh podcast it's uh what is it um axel's body asmr um where i'm just gonna be making random noises with my body um i'll give you a little sample this is um fart noises with my bottom lip <laughs> be prepared for uh, more of that yeah um, dude, it's really really great quality stuff and oh nobody man. makes those great. sounds great great like great Axel. content um, that's why it's like called axel's bodies ASMR. yeah axel's bodies asmr um yeah it's gonna be trending like number one soon mm -hmm. so stay tuned um yeah i'm excited